Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to this uh, uh, presentation where we want to, um, to look at um, uh, November 2022, Mathematics Paper 2. Of course, we're just interested in the, the first question, which is on matrices, all right? In case you want to get in touch here with us, you can reach us on these numbers, either via WhatsApp or direct call, all right? So if you are preparing for your GCE, please feel free to contact us on um, those lines. All right, let's see. We want to attempt to be a question 1A only. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'll write my answers here. We are saying, given that the determinant of a matrix, this one is given as 15. Then let's find the value of B. All right, this is the question. Um, one A and one A. Okay, here the card weight or the key weight is determinant. All right. So in this case, we are going to say determinant. Or let me just say determinant. Uh, determinant. Uh, determinant of Q is defined as, all right, the product of this diagonal minus the product of that diagonal, right? In this regard, what does it mean? We need to multiply. You can see deliberately I'm changing the brackets. We can multiply negative five by to be minus one, all right? Then minus as the definition, minus four by, actually I can even close here, four by negative three B. Yeah, this is enough. I've used the square brackets because I also have brackets inside. All right, once you do that, it means you have given the definition of a determinant, you are good to go, all right? But we're being told that this must be equal to 15, all right? What does this imply therefore? This implies that when I work out what is on the left-hand side, it must be equated to what is on the right-hand side. So because of the brackets here, I will distribute the negative five. So negative five by two B is going to give us negative 10 B. I think I got that one correct. Good. Then negative five by negative one will give us a positive five. All right. Then there's minus. You can still work out what is in the brackets. Uh, negative uh, four, positive four by negative three B We'll give you negative four B, all right? And this must be equated to 15. This will imply therefore that we can maintain our negative B, negative 10 B plus five. Then here, we are going to multiply a negative number. It's like there's a negative one if you want. So negative one by negative 12 B, going to give you positive 12 B. Now, other people will be wondering where the negative one came from. If you want, you can say a negative number for the sake of this presentation, I'll, I'll explain like this. This negative by that negative is going to give you positive. Though we do not multiply negative independently, they depend on numbers. But for us to understand, I think that is okay. So you can multiply um, this negative with that producing this positive sign. All right, then there will be 12 B there. I hope that is okay. I hope that is fine. Then 
what are we saying? We equate this to 15B. Yeah, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Good. Then look at this. Look at this. Look at this. There is a B here. There is a B here. These are like terms. They have something in common. So they can be combined. But when you look at this, it's just a constant. Because this is a constant. So you can combine them. What are you saying? Therefore, this will imply that I can take 10B plus 12B. And this will produce 15B minus 5. All right? You, you deal with additive inverse. Or for the sake of this presentation, we can say, we'll take this 5 to the other side. Hence, the sign will change from positive to negative. I hope that is OK. But now. Here, you need to be careful. There are two things that you must deal with. You are dealing with the signs as well as algebra. You are dealing with integers as well as algebra. So for this, you can just deal with negative 10 plus 12 first. All right? You can maintain the B for now. So negative 10 plus 12, sorry, the answer will be a two. When the signs are different like this, if at all I'm dealing with plus or minus, you keep the sign of the bigger number, find the difference between the two. So you get two, but the letter, the variable that is there is a B, I'll maintain the B, right? In short, negative 10 B plus 12 B, the answer is two B. All right. And what does this give us? It gives us 10 B. Uh, 10 flat, sorry. So allow me to, to, to proceed from here. So we'll say 2b is equal to 10. This should be divided by 2 for us to get to b. Divided by 2. This therefore implies that our b is equal to 5. As simple as all that. All right? It is as simple as all that. These things should not be complicated. It's as, as simple as all that. Uh, this was Roman numeral one, uh, A Roman numeral one. Roman numeral two, what are we saying? We need to find the inverse. So the, the inverse, we need to find the inverse of Q. But now what we can do is to rewrite Q first. What is Q? Q is two B. What is our B? Our B is five. Then there's four. Is negative three b and our b is five, and here there is <coughs> there is negative five. All right, mean that therefore your q is ten, negative fifteen, four and negative five. This is what the inverse. This is the q. We've done the rewrites. These are what we call rewrites in mathematics. All right. Now therefore means that for us to find q inverse, it will be defined as one divided by the determinant of Q times its adjoint, all right? Adjoint of what? Q, all right? Adjoint of, uh, let me do this. So this implies that our inverse therefore is equal to one. What is the, the determinant? Most people make mistakes. Instead of writing 15 as our determinant, they would rather pick B, which is wrong. So our determinant, therefore, is 15 times. Our adjoint will be found by interchanging the positions of these elements in the major diagonal. So you have negative 5, negative 5, and um, Uh, uh, let's take note, I think here, for Q, let's be careful with Q, it's supposed to be here, it's supposed to be minus one. I think we're able to see here, right? So meaning that it's supposed to be 10 minus one, this is supposed to be nine. I think we need to collect that. So we'll have nine here. Then with a minor diagonal, we multiply by a negative, meaning that here there'll be 15, and then there'll be negative four. Basically, this is your answer. That is your answer. All right. 
So basically you're done. You get your four marks. Get your four marks. So please join our online lessons. Online lessons. For those of you preparing for your GC exams, please join us. We are we have had um, two groups. The first group is a group um, a group of thirty people. Here, people are paying or have been paying three hundred kwacha per month. A month, mathematics only, and I can assure you these are very effective lessons. We also have a group of 10 people. Here, people are paying 500 kwacha per month. But um, I must be quick to mention that um, we are very happy with the response that we have received, and we really want to thank the people that have. Um, uh, believed in what we are doing, and due to that, um, this group or the groups for 30 people is no longer available because it is full to its maximum, so it is no longer available. It is full there with us, it is full, it is full. The only groups that are available, of course, the numbers are also not much. I think in each group we are remaining with about four to five. I think four. It is now these groups for 10 people. Now, you might be wondering why we are dealing with these small numbers. We are dealing with these small numbers because we know for effective teaching, especially looking at this short period of time that we have, requires that you need maximum concentration, you need maximum attention, you need to be able to ask as many questions as possible. And that can only be uh, possible when the teacher-learner ratio is reduced. Hence, if are, there are only 10, you will get the maximum benefit of such lessons. Because one, you are able to ask as many questions as, as possible. Me as a teacher, I will know all of you by your names and your weaknesses. Therefore, I'll be able to help you effectively. But if you are learning in a group where you are, uh, sorry, you are 100 or 150, I can assure you, you only be passive. Your only job there is just to write notes, thereby defeating the whole essence of learning. So we encourage you to join uh, uh, our groups. I don't think you will write again when you uh, learn with us. I think we've been in this uh, business for a long period of time. For those that we taught last year, I think he, uh, they are smiling, they are smiling. I think he will not receive any complaints whatsoever. So we look forward to, to seeing, uh, to receiving your calls and we'll be glad to help you. Thank you and may the good Lord bless you all.